being tempted and changing trade plans after a hard day. <laughs> Let's face it, we've all been there. It's been one of those days where no matter what it is that you do, you just get your teeth kicked in. Uh, you went long, perfect time for the top of the market to be in. Oh, you reverse short? Guess it was just a pullback. Stop under the swing, buffer to be safe by five ticks, the market moved under by six. It's like Murphy's Law is having a friggin' heyday, and it's at our expense. And it happens. <laughs> Some days are like that. Um, these are the kind of days that make you want to ditch everything that you've been doing and, and trading and, <laughs> and just everything and find something new. Uh, a new strategy, a, a new market a new something. Uh, it's incredible what a massively frustrating day, well, what that will do to some of us. So first of all, the big thing with this is that we need to be very, very careful with this form of mentality because it is a type of self-sabotage and it will inevitably bury you. You really have to remember a few key things about the market and really kind of take some time and let them soak in. The first one, and this is a really important thing, nothing that happens in the market is personal, <laughs> right? I know it feels like it sometimes, but nothing in the market that happens, it's personal. And it's not, there's nobody aiming something directly at you. It's nothing like that. It's not personal. If you followed your plan and you lost, you still won because you followed your plan in the sense of long-term success in your trading. Keep that in mind. If, as long as you followed your plan, even if the trade was a loss, you still won. And if you feel like you need to take a mental break, then take a break. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with needing to take a break, especially with the amount of decision making that traders have to do on a daily basis, on a, on a minute by minute basis sometimes. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you need to take a break. The market's not going anywhere. The only thing that is going anywhere is your trade account if you trade outside of your plan in a non-emotionally good place. Now, I want to make sure that we're on the same page here because there's nothing wrong with analytically modifying your trading system when necessary based on back-tested results and that, that proves that a change is needed. That's something entirely different, right? That's a different story. What I'm talking about is shiny object syndrome or fittingly named enough SOS. <laughs> this, you know, mentality of the grass is always greener on the other side. It's really easy to fall into that trap. Uh, for me personally, whenever I find myself having that problem, and, and trust me, we all have it and we will all have it again, uh, I try to rein myself back by first going back over my historical trade data. Is there anything that would suggest in my trading that there needs to be a change. You know, maybe over the past week and a half, the trading math has been horrible. Uh, the entries that I've been taking have been 40% accurate, but my risk reward is only one to one. Ouch, right? Welcome to market change. If that's the case, then yeah, absolutely. I can consider changing something because I have analytical math telling me that something's wrong and making a change based off of that that makes sense, right? That's something that that change, whatever it is, must kind of alleviate the issue in back-tested trading history enough to get the trading math back into solid territory. That way you're back in the positive. Uh, sometimes that's as simple as just a slight adjustment to your stop size. Uh, other times it involves a bit more uh, in terms of filtering with a new indicator and new indicator testing. Either way, in this type of scenario, we have proof that something needs to change. Now, if I go over my trading history and I can't find anything wrong, uh, and today just sucked, <laughs> then, then changing what I'm doing is a total waste of time. It's more likely going to cause more harm than good, and it's going to just do more damage. So really, that's one of the important reasons why keeping a, a basic history of, of your trading journal uh, or, or a journal of your trading history can be so important because you can go back and you can see, you know, what's what's going well, what's what's not going well, what needs to be changed. Uh, and a lot of a lot of charting platforms 
do the basics of this. Uh, Ninja Trader has an example that that does all of that. And there are a lot of alternatives out there as well. Um, but remember, the important thing here, like always, and when it comes to anything with a trading strategy, keep it simple. Like the old adage says, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and if the strategy isn't broken, you just had a really bad day. Don't go hunting for something else that's shiny because it looks like it worked really well today. That's a great way to blow your account out, and it's a surefire way to really mess up your long-term trading success. So st try to stay away from the shiny object syndrome. There's a reason it's SOS. Just remember that. But like we always say, stay safe out there. Keep those stops in play and let the winners run. Until the next one, have a great day, and we'll talk to you all then. Thanks.